Good morning everyone, Sam here. And Angela, and welcome to our channel. So, today is the day that, um, okay, maybe the second most anticipated day for you guys. Yesterday was the house move. Today is... The walkthrough to see what's changed. What's destroyed. What has happened inside. <laughs> Let's hope nothing. We don't know, but we're going to take you guys with us real time as we find out. Let's go. I can unscrew it. I'll unscrew it for you guys. Let me. What is that? It looks like the Let me paperwork for the permit it. for the anchoring system and other things. It. Oh, I see. All right, the time has arrived. It is time for us to go in the house for the first time since it's here on our new property. We have this metal strap that we put on here as a safety measure so the doors didn't pop open. So the first thing to do is to take the strap off and then open the doors. Assuming one of us has the keys to the house. I will go ahead and say that this was very painful for me to put a screw in our brand new doors trim, but you got to do some things to make some things happen, I guess. Nobody cares about my hand. I do. Yay! So cool. All right, for this first tour of the house, I'm going to take the technical aspect of the tour with you guys, and then Angela will take you through the, the touchy-feely type aspect, because that's just how we roll. Here in the living room, there's really nothing for us to talk about or show that's changed, because nothing really has changed. We left this drywall unfinished on purpose, because when we actually got to the point of hanging the drywall, we knew we were moving, and we saw no point in finishing the drywall to move and have to fix it. So here in the living room, there's really nothing to share or show. Let me take you guys in the boys' bedroom. That's the most concerned point we had with the move. In here, we are very glad that there is no drywall explosions. Nothing is like destroyed or on the floor. And there's only the very minutest level of things we gotta tweak. Go over here to the green wall first. If you look closely, you'll be able to see a crack that runs horizontal, which is at the joint of the drywall. So this is a little bit of touch-up area to fix. There's no, no changes or degradation of the drywall. It's just the joint probably where it flexed and just kind of broke the paper. That should be easy enough to sand, apply a thin coat of mud, and go back to just fixing it fine. Up here at the top, you can see where the crown molding meets the ceiling. There's a little bit of cracking. Looks like some of the popcorn paint or ceiling came down a little bit there as far as just like the layer. Another easy, small little cosmetic fix. No problem there. There's nothing to speak of with this whole front wall, which is a very big surprise because there's a lot of drywall transitions and angles, our LED recessed lights, the windows. It's a very busy wall. It's amazing to see that it didn't move. There's not even any cracks that we've noticed. So that is awesome. One thing that we've noticed in this room and the others and where we have the upgraded floor mold we've added, some of the joints have separated and moved. We figure it's because the house moved, yes, but some of them don't go back like they were. And we're attributing that to the fact that probably our home in North Carolina settled because it was not on concrete footers and the fact that the home now has been forced kind of level again, that some of the interior carpentry and trim has been tweaked a little bit. Nothing is bad. It's very easily fixed and won't be any problem to fix at all. But it's something that we've noticed that we'll point out for you guys. All right, going on in this way, the boys bathroom or the front bathroom this turned out really, really well. There's no issues with any of the fixtures, the tub surround, the vanity. There is a horizontal crack. It's, not, it's right about this level, but inside. Remember, this is a pocket door, so this wall is more flimsy than usual. So I figured that it really jiggled a lot, and that's just kind of where it took the stress and relieved itself, I guess, of the stresses. So it's another superficial crack. 
the actual drywall itself has not completely broken. It's just kind of a, a crack of the paper. So no big problems there either. Again, going through the living room, nothing really to speak of. Uh, recliner did ride fine, apparently. Looks like, I guess one of the boys has already set in it. You can tell by the dirt shadows they leave. On in here in the dining room, we have a separation there, a crack of the paneling. Again, superficial. Same kind of thing going on here with the floor molding. Some of them have separated, maybe little cracks here and there but still just superficial issues. Here in the dining room, what you can see behind me are the last of the windows that we've never replaced. These are not original to the home, but they were in the house whenever we bought it, and they're, they're ugly and crusty. We have great hopes and dreams that we can put a sliding glass door in this place, so that's why we always left them. But I say all of this to point out that there is some more hairline cracks of the drywall joints, at the top and around the bottom. Again, superficial, so nothing really to worry about. As we go into the kitchen, we have great news. All of our cabinets are still on the walls. Everything is still as solid as it was in North Carolina. The over-the-range microwave, road, safe and sound, and really there's not much to speak of in here. There's no horrible disasters to share or anything really amazing like trashed to show either, which is all good news. So we, we appreciate that at least. There's a video on our channel that is, well, pretty old at this point, but it's one where we show how to remove the strips on the walls of a mobile home and kind of tape and spackle and mud the joints to hide them. Here on this back wall is an area where we did that. A common question we get from that video is, hey, it's been X number of years since you did this. How's it held up? Have you noticed any cracks? We had no problems with cracks at all until the home was moved, but even now after the fact, it's still superficial and will be a piece of cake to fix. All right, the last room to show, there's really not much to show in here. This is our bedroom and this room has not been touched. The only thing we've done in here is the new windows and way back when we kind of moved in, maybe a year later, we did a little miniature bathroom renovation, but otherwise nothing has changed in here because, well, it's still like classic mobile home strips on the walls, not a new floor, that kind of scenario. So nothing really to show you guys here. Nice. The last thing I was checking is how the doors align in their jams. And that one is still great, which is, honestly, it's really amazing to see the house slid down off our hill, hauled over here, set back up. The fact that the door jams are still aligned and great is really, really cool. So basically inside, it's not really changed much, but looking outside, it's totally weird. On the front, we're used to seeing the hill go down a good ways. And here, it's pretty flat, but it kind of goes up some, and it's so much more open. Looking in the back, in the living room or wherever, it's woods. And so this is where the boys normally play. You know, it's going to be nice to have our play area and get together, do stuff out here. But it's so cool that it's woods now, where before it went straight up behind the house. Here in the boys' room, um, it's a lot lower than it was. So the ground is a lot closer than it was, which would be good if they ever need to get out the window for a fire or something like that. We also get to see all of our buildings from here. Our workshop, my soap shack, our garden, everything like that, the boys will be able to see from their bedroom window. One of the things I knew would change a whole lot is my kitchen window view because as most people know when you're standing in the kitchen you're almost always at the kitchen sink doing dishes preparing food that type of thing and my view is a lot more open I can see mountains in the distance and it's just it's so nice and open.
Well, there we go. There is the house tour, the, the new house tour. Can we say the new house tour? I guess so. It feels like a new house on the outside, outside sort of. Looking out, in, out. I don't know. Either way, we're really happy with, you know, the level of fix that we have to do is really nice. It's superficial. That is really, very nice. Very much so. So as far as um, what's the next big steps for this, when are we moving in, what do we got to do with the house, we have to have our septic system installed, we have to do our water and drain system from the house, power is also included, and then of course our basement or crawl space foundation, underpinning, and that kind of thing. Um, we also have to do porches, front and rear, and I believe that's it for our CO, mm -hmm. or Certificate of Occupancy from the county to say, yep, you're good, you can move in your house legally. That being said, there are other things we're gonna do in this time that you have ideas for. Yes, um, I'm gonna be working on the inside of the house. Right now there is dirt and junk all over the floor just from us moving stuff in and out. So I have some cleaning to do. And then now is a good time to go ahead and repaint the rooms that we want to. And we're gonna to have to repaint some of the areas that we have to do the touch-up spackling and, then that, and that type of thing. Yep. Um, this is also the, very much the time that you see all the little scratches and dents and stuff like that on your walls. So I definitely wanna fix that. Outside of that stuff, we are also contemplating our sanity and the strength of our sanity because we really, really would like to renovate our bedroom before we move in the house. We would like to replace the thin mobile home drywall in our living room before we move in the house. So if we can hold out, if our perseverance can persevere, we may also add in some renovation projects before we officially move into the house. And this is also a time where we're gonna have to wait for the septic to mm -hmm. be installed. Yep. We're gonna have to wait for the, um, not the water, cause we'll do it, but um, wait for the electric mm -hmm. and wait for the block foundation and stuff like that. So this is the perfect time for us to say, hey, let's go ahead and tear apart the bedroom <laughs> or, you know, that type thing to where we have something to do while we're waiting on the other things to be done. Right. We also um, are trying not to have project creep but we did have the thoughts of, you know, we want to put the front porch, the back porch on. Wow, now would be the perfect time to maybe replace some siding in those areas before we go putting a deck right up next to it. That definitely gets into project creep and we've got to be careful about what we can, you know, monetarily do and still get done, but then also try and be as forward thinking as possible to not be short-sighted to say let's just get it done move in and then regret not taking some time now to save us a lot of headache later we don't want to take bite off more than we can chew and we don't want to have to take mm -hmm. apart things that we've already put together yeah yeah with as expensive as materials and supplies are the last thing we want to do is spend the money and in three to six months later lose that money destroy it and have to redo something right but again, that's all going to depend on how our sanity level rises or stays the same. Um, so don't know. Don't hold us to it. We may say we're sick of living in a camper. Forget it. We're moving in. Who knows? You, you guys will see, but we'll just have to see, I guess. From the outside looking in right now, that's what our plans are. Mm -hmm. And they most likely will change a little bit. Oh, yeah. You got to be fluid and flexible. If we try to. Yeah. <laughs> Well, guys, thanks for coming along for our tour as we got to see our house after it was moved. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next time on The Homestead. See you guys. Bye. Expose on my face and lock it for exposure. It's that one darker. Here, come over here. There we go. In the boys' room, it has sunk quite a bit. We were, what? No, say so in the, here in the boys room, they're lower. Okay. But you also view. And then lock the exposure. Mm-hmm. Good? Mm-hmm. Okay. Lock on your face. Okay. There it is, there it is. Ah, I have a face. There. Yeah, that's got it.
that root brown locker docker. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next time on the homestead. See you guys. Bye. Get more comfortable saying that? Yep, on the homestead. Yep. Our one That's homestead. It. That's it. I probably won't ever see North Carolina again. That's okay. I'm not taking the camera for that cleanup junk. Ugh. Look at that woods. Okay. Of course, you know now, remember.